Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the cantilever beam. So we have a cantilever beam. Here we can see the length of the cantilever beam is 8 meter. And there is a load of 4 kN per meter at uniformly distributed load acting on this cantilever beam. So to analyze this cantilever beam and to find out the support reaction and uh, shear force diagram and bending moment, let's consider that this is a support reaction, support reaction A or support A of the cantilever beam. So in cantilever beam, there is always one support is fixed support. For example, we see here that this support provided here is a fixed support so this fixed support can take the vertical reaction which will be r a vertical it can also take the horizontal reaction r a horizontal and it can also take the moment which will be m a so the property of the fixed support is that it can take three kind of reaction if there is a fixed support so it can take the vertical load or vertical reaction it can take horizontal load and it can also take the moment which is acting at its support point. So now how to analyze this beam. There is a very shortcut in easy way and I will show you how to do it. So let's consider to find out the support reactions RAH horizontal. Is there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. So this will be directly equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam or no inclined load. There is only vertical load. A 4 kN is acting on this beam. Now to find the vertical reaction, it's very easy. R a vertical support reaction is equal to the, the load which is this W multiplied with the length. So W into it, W is 4 kN per meter multiplied with this 8 meter length. So we got here 32 kN. So 32 kN is the support reaction here acting at this point. So this whole load is supported by this support reaction and it can take the load of 32 kN. How to draw the shear force diagram now for this case? So we can draw the two lines, reference lines here. One is for shear force for example. This one is for shear force in kN. And one is for bending moment in kilonewton meter. And this is for bending moment. So this reference lines mean that the shear force acting at this point is 0, 0. A bending moment here at, acting at this point are 0, 0. Now there is a load of 32 kilonewton acting in the upper direction. So we will bring this simply in upper direction of 32 magnitude. Now there is uniformly distributed acting in the downward direction. So if 32 is a support reaction, in upper direction we take is positive and then there is a load acting in the downward direction which is 4 kN per meter multiplying with the length which is 8. So plus 32 minus 32 equal to 0. So it means we have 0 support reaction here at this point. Here we have 0. So we will connect these two upper and lower ends so we will get the shear force diagram for this cantilever beam. Now, with this cantilever beam shear force, we can draw the bending moment diagram. How? Because bending moment diagram is equal to the area of the shear box. So, moment at A point will be equal to the, this is a triangle we see here. We have height and we have length, our base. This length is 8 meter, which is the length of the beam. So, moment will be, triangle either can be found out base into height. So, half base is equal to 8 meter multiply with the height which is 32 kN so if we multiply and divide this value or make it simplify we got around 128 kN meter so this is the bending moment value acting at the A point MA so here is MA and this will be 128 kilonewton which is a negative bending moment 128 kilonewton because cantilever beam always is a negative bending moment and at this point there is no support reaction here acting so this will be zero so just we will simply connect this two points with a parabolic line because this was a linear line or one degree line or linear line so this will be a parabolic line or two degree line two degree line or parabolic 
parabolic line. So this is now the bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam. I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.